This video is about how to sort data using dplyr's arrange function. Arrange allows us to sort tables using any combinations of variables we want. And so like other dplyr functions, we start with the function name, arrange, A-R-R-A-N-G-E, and then parentheses. The first argument, like other dplyr functions, is the name of the table we want to work on, so surveys in this case. And then we're going to provide a range, a list of columns that we want to sort by. So let's say we just want to sort the entire table by the weight column. We can type in weight and then run this by pressing the run button. And now if we scroll up to the top of our example, we'll see that we have all of the smallest weights first, and they gradually get uh, bigger and bigger. And we've only got the first few hundred rows, so nothing's bigger uh, than about six grams. Uh, these are all Paramiscus flavus, which are these absolutely adorable tiny little mice that comfortably fit in the palm of your hand. If we wanted to see what the larger small mammals are uh, at the site, instead of sorting in ascending order, so from smallest to largest, we can sort in descending order. And the way that we do that is to wrap the variable that we want to sort by in another function, DESC, which stands for descending. So we would say arrange and then surveys, so that we arrange the surveys table. But now instead of typing weight, we type DESC, make this column descending, and then parentheses again, because this is another function, and then the name of the column we want to sort by. And then click the Run button. And now if we scroll up to the top, we'll see that we've got the biggest small mammals, uh, which are the biggest animals pretty much that can wedge themselves into this small rectangular metal box. And these are all Neotoma albigula, uh, which is a, a wood rat, and they can weigh uh, up to almost 300 grams. If we want to sort by multiple columns simultaneously, we just provide a range additional arguments for those columns, and we provide the columns in the order in which we want to prioritize sorting by. So let's say we wanted to sort the surveys table first into plots, and then sort by the dates in those plots. We would say a range, and then the table we want to work on, the surveys table. But now instead of just providing a single variable, we apply several, we provide several. So uh, the plot column in our table is plot ID. So we say we want to sort first by the plot ID, and then we want to sort by the date. And since we want to sort by date, we want to sort by the biggest part of the date first. So we want to sort by the year, and then the month, and then the day, so that the dates will sort in the order that we expect them to. And if we run that and scroll up, we can see that at the top we now have all of the data for plot one, and it is then sorted chronologically by date. We have the first sampling date first, the second sampling date second, and so on. And we're still in plot one here, uh, at the beginning, but if we stored this into a variable, so I'm going to go back to this line and uh, say surveys by plot, and then assign this, we can store this output into this variable so that we can look at it. We can go ahead and run, and now we can look at this new table we've created. And if we scroll down, 
we'll see that the plots gradually increase from 1 up to 24, and within each plot, everything is sorted chronologically. So that's how we sort tables in dplyr. We use the arrange function, which takes the table that we want to sort as the first argument, and then a series of column names for the columns that we want to sort by in the order that we want to sort them by. And if we want to sort something in descending instead of ascending order, we wrap that column name in the desc function.